Oh, I literally cannot wait. <laughs> what? It might have originated from the Bible, but... Cheers. This is apple cider tea, in case anyone was wondering. I'm drinking it because I'm sick. <coughs> Guys, I'm going to Elton John tomorrow. It's actually just going to be so good. Now, I don't know if we're staying down in Cork or not. We still haven't made up our minds because of Bambino and stuff. Um, we're just gonna go with the flow and see where the road takes us. I'm actually very go with the flow at the minute because I don't know what I'm wearing. I don't know what I'm bringing. Like, I just don't know. And usually I'm so, I'm usually getting ready a week in advance. I'm a little sick, so I'm just being pure lazy. I'm gonna take you all with me, whether it's like 10 hours in Cork or 24 hours in Cork or like five hours in Cork. You're all coming on the journey. Guys, I need help picking what to wear. So we have Spanx. Um, I'm thinking about maybe wearing them with this or this knitted sweater kind of thing with this coming out of it. Um, the shoe I'll be wearing will be docks with every outfit it's just docks because they're just easy um black jeans with either this little bodysuit or this bodysuit with a brown um what you call it blazer or just blue jeans blue half blazer blue half blazer half blue that is a tongue twister um Oh yeah, there are the options. I don't know what to wear. Good morning. So it is the 1st of July. It's the morning after. I was talking to you last. I'm just getting ready to go to Elton. I said I'd do my face in the morning instead of doing it up there because I'm just wasting time and I have time now. So why not do it, you know? I'm sipping on Limsip because I'm still sick. Um, honestly, I don't vibe with this. It's a lemon and I squeezed a full lime into it. It makes it a little bit nicer, but not great. Not great. I was going to put apple cider to it. But I just wasn't earned. You know? Um, I also, of course, I have my coffee and my water yeah so i have my skin prepped it's moisturized and everything oh my god you should have seen my face in the morning when i woke up i was like it's still very puffy i think it's because i'm sick but um honestly how many times do i have to say i'm sick in this video you can just tell that i'm full of self-pity and honestly i am um I literally like I was like a balloon so I got to, I went downstairs and got like ice and just rubbed it in my face thinking it would work but it hasn't it's not great it's not great but um yeah so I'm just gonna do my face now and might record some of it might not because I'm gonna do an actual like full get ready with me one of the days I highly requested from the girlies so Give the girls what they want. Um, but yeah. So I might just record little bits and bobs here. But um. So I'll see you angels when I see you. It's literally been like. Half an hour. Since I last spoke to you. And all I have done is my eyebrows. And flawless, oh, flawless filter on my face. So now I'm going to do my foundation. Am I the only one who uses like two different or three different products? Like mix and match foundations? First side of the face done. 
don't know who the difference though. No makeup. What a flawless filter. Also, the drink matches my nails. Something is always matching. Always. I have my face done. I just need to put my lashes on. Oh my god, I'm just ever realizing this has different colors. Shook. Hey, so we're on the road to Elton, baby. Road Um, I'm actually thick because. Rock man burning down the streets of Babylon. I forgot like every jewelry. I forgot my earrings, I forgot sunglasses. Because someone was rushing me out the door. We're in Limerick now, I think. The amount of like Limerick flags up everywhere. I feel like oh Limerick. Oh my god, there's so many Limerick flags in Limerick. Guys, listen to this. Do you know what? <laughs> Do you know what Carl said earlier? We literally weren't even ten minutes out of Galway City. Like no word of a lie. And um, we were on this like road that we weren't really on before. And he goes. I've been on this road for. Is this the real Terry? <laughs> what? <laughs> Literally said. Um, yeah, well, it is a quote from the Gilmore Girls, so I wasn't wrong. It might have originated from the Bible, but <laughs> I also sound like a prepubescent boy. My voice is crazy today. Mm, yummy. The food here looks amazing. Are you excited, Kyle? <laughs> I don't know what to get. I wonder if they like put other stuff on it. I think they got. Yeah. We're excited. Starters. I got some calamari and Kyle got dough balls. And of course, an afro. Honestly, no one does afro like I do. Mm -hmm. I love that. that. I'm gonna taste test wine. I'm literally wearing two coats. I'm just laughing. Three days, three or four days, cause um, I got really, really sick, and I literally couldn't move out of bed. Um, peak sickness hit me at the Elton John concert. There was a stage; it was like halfway through, and I was literally like, "Oh my God, Kyle, I'm gonna have to go home. Like, I'm gonna have to leave right now." But I was like, I literally can't. Like, I love Elton so much. He is the cutest. I can't leave. I can't disrespect him like that. Now, I'm still kind of sick. But um, I'm not as bad as I was. Like, I feel like today is the best I've been in a few days. So, as a treat, I made myself a little coffee. Taste test. Mm, I literally haven't had coffee since 
like the day before the Elton John concert. Yeah, I didn't record much at the concert because I was just enjoying it, but also I was a little bit dying and I just couldn't. I l literally didn't have the energy to take my camera out and record. That's how bad I was. But, um, guys, the concert was so good. He is literally unbelievable. How is that man? Did he say, he said he was 75 and he finishes the tour when he's 76. How? He was flying it, not a bother to him, like, and he's just the cutest little man ever. Like after every song, he'd just like get up and he'd be like, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, thank you. I was literally like, why are you the cutest? Um, But yeah, it was so sad. I can't believe that's his like last ever tour. I think Cork was his, he had two more gigs to go and then it was done. And he said actually as well, Graham Norton was at the Cork. He was he was like, I have a few friends here tonight and I'd like to say a big hi to Graham Norton. So apparently Graham Norton was at the show. Actually, speaking of celebrities being places, I was watching the Galway vs Limerick game the last day and the camera zoomed in on this man and I was like, he looks so familiar. Bill Murray. What? That's so random. Like Bill Murray at a Galway versus Limerick hurling game. That's crazy. But um, yeah, back to Elton. I'm so starstruck. I am literally so starstruck. I can't believe I seen him in flesh. He's just such an icon. Like, he's just so iconic. I'd say I've watched the movie, I'm not even lying, probably like more than 10 times. It's just so good. Oh, I could literally waffle on about him all day. Before I let you all go, little quote time. Okay, I think an Elton John quote is the one for this week. Okay, let me see what we can find. Okay, so this is one. I've seen two that are good, so I might, might say the two. What the hell is wrong with expressing yourself? I'm just trying to be me. Elton, baby, absolutely, absolutely. And then the other one, she was up here. You should never take more than you give. Also a good one. Um, that's it for this week's Elton John video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry I couldn't get more <clears throat> of the concert. Even if I did, I wouldn't be able to put it in because of the like singing and like the songs and YouTube and stuff. But um, yeah, it was just 12 out of 10. It really was. But yeah. Thank you for watching and I will see you all next week.